Alright, well, while he does that, I'll jump right into the introductions. Guys, spotting here in the top left corner of Red City. Trying to get that $300 on lockdown, it is Acer's Blood. And his opponent looking in a bit of a bad spot at the moment. Of course, going 3 0 down so far, it is at the Purple Tower and playing for Team Complexity QXC. And. Yeah, like, he's gonna be very demoralized right now. Um, he's a little tired as well, I'm guessing. He's been playing for quite a while. He started it fairly earlier. Yeah, like, the big thing is as well, like, he, he played Starbuck, and then it was quite a big gap between Kaz and Bly series. Uh, um, so maybe, you know, he was a bit less warmed up. He may have had something to eat that could have made him a little bit more tired, sluggish. So many different variables that come into such a thing. I think a large part of this, I, I'm i sorry, I'm just going to completely refute what you said, is the fact that Bly's ZVT is just amazing. Like, yeah. QXC at the top of his game, maybe on his best day, could take on Bly. But that's not to say anything away from the fact that Bly is one of the best ZB tiers really around, even since Wings of Liberty. So he's been doing a lot of stuff that you could consider aggressive, all in whatever. But I mean, you got to consider like, okay, game two, QXC kind of defeated himself with the 11 11 racks. The game we just saw, I don't think even counts as a game. I mean, that was just luck yeah. combined with coincidence, combined with timing. It couldn't have gone better for Bly. So. QXC's only really had one good solid game in this series in my eyes where you could really call it like a win or loss for it. The last two, definitely losses on a technicality, but like they're not games I feel QXC was given the fairest opportunity. Like yeah. he, he, he kind of killed himself, if that makes more sense, than Bly killing him. Yeah, definitely. Um, especially with that last game. Oh, that was so painful. I am curious, Red City, it's hard. It's still a brand new map in comparison to the season being launched just recently. There's not a lot of go-to builds. Like, you know, Antigua Shipyard was synonymous with, like, Blink Stalkers. There's nothing really like that just yet for Red City. But I do want to point out, I'm glad that it's vertical spawns. I think horizontal spawns on this map are the worst. But vertical spawns, not that bad, in my opinion. Yeah, and cross even better. <laughs> cross is always best. I mean, like even on the worst <laughs> map. Well, you know what? I take that back. This is Core Hall Sky City or Sky Island rather has like really weird cross positions. But that's a whole other can of worms. Uh, we'll talk about that some other time. Such a garbage map. Such a garbage map. The fact that you can like as a Terran, they expand in the open in like the dead. You know, if there's like top left and bottom right, and you just fly your mothership coin. <laughs> so funny. It's so easily abusable. The both. Um, both orbitals are now in production. The SCV does know where the Zerg has spawned, so he has seen that. And we have another Rotorin in production. I think QXC is also very happy to see that, you know, no no hatchery blocks. <laughs> He's just going to be able to land his command center without complications. He's going to feel alright about this. Yeah, right now people are going nuts in the chat. They're talking about the, the keyboard smash <laughs> with the video. Yeah, that's a good video. But uh, I, I want to okay. point out, the Roach Warren is kind of early, so if Bly hits, it's only going to be with seven-ish Roaches, and a well-repaired bunker can hold that. Yes. Oh, we're going to try to save this SCV. Got... Should save this SCV. Nice. There we go. Right, he does have enough gas for eight Roaches right now, and that's what he makes. Is he going to make a ninth? He is still, of course, mining gas, so you can add on extra Roaches, but eight is... Okay, nine... It's pretty much 8 to 10 is the standard, isn't it, really? Yeah. You, you rarely see, or say 7 to 10. You never see less than 7. You never really see more than 10. Um, uh, so well, it's we because the nine. goal is like to do as much damage as you can yeah. while you take a third behind it. Yeah, exactly. And QXC, I think, is going to try and get that Banshee out once again. And this is... I don't know. Th you can recover from this, but not easily and not in the best way. But the problem uh, yeah, is, of course, they... if you go for a tank, then you've got no offensive capabilities whatsoever. Oh, and he lowers the depots, QXC. It's getting close. He's not going to see it until right now. And there it is. Oh, and the Hellions are in production. I always pull the SCVs. He's ready to spam repair this. All right, okay, inside the mines. bunker, SCV. No! <laughs> we, we do have mines in production, a Banshee in production. And nice this is dodging like... with the SCVs. I like that he's pulling them yeah. back again. I mean, a couple of these roaches are soft enough that the Banshee... Oh my god, there's no more SCVs! 
Oh, That's no. okay though. He can lift. He can lift. He's got mines out now for the top of the ramp. But oh no, he burns out on the supply depot. Oh, QXC realizing the mistake. Yeah, but one problem is because the other depot wasn't there, so it is being built. It, it can't be repaired. It can get targeted down. Yeah, but the banshee is about to pop. The Marauder yeah. is out. QXC is fine. That sucked. He lost 16 workers. But his orbital still stands. Look at this. He's not even going to lose the Marauder. That's the best part. Like, he has got this in the bag. Alright, so 41 supply v 51. There is only two orbitals for QXC, so, uh. Like, sometimes you see this, uh, where it's to like a 3 oh, wow. um, three CC, and then they can macro out of it pretty well, uh, the Terran can. Look at but the location gonna... of Bly's third, though. He's taking a really ballsy third, because, I mean, that's yeah. so close that's... to QXC's base. Yeah. Like, that's, you know, he can seize it from the low ground while, like, taking his own third. So, yeah. Like, that really doesn't help by. Um, that's actually very curious. That's not, like, the type of thing or mistake he should be really making. And even this Banshee could end... Oh, no, but look at QC's main. He's got to raise the depots. He's got to do it right now. Oh, the circling skill right in here. There's no wall at the top. And that could be uh, it. The Widowmines oh are not God. at home. He needs them at home. Hellions are coming. Oh Banshee's God. on the way, but... And this is actually going to do so much more damage. This is why he, like, he couldn't have let this happen to definitely win the game. Um, it's, like, this is going to be a lot of extra damage. We don't mind our borrowing. But, of course, if they connect and do splash damage to the SCVs, that's not going to help. That like command uh, center. Q's actually now with the double Banshees and the Hellions clean this up. That sucked, but that brings, that almost doubles the workers killed at this point. So, I mean, Bly really? is getting his money's worth. Oh. Yeah, it's, it was at, like, 16 before. It's at, like, 27 yeah. now. I mean, this is about as close as it gets to double. Now, the wood mines and the Hellions are going to move out across the map, but I mean, Bly is set up so nicely, I don't think he's really going to care. Yeah, like, that, that was, it, it, it was like hard to tell if, you know, who, who was ahead. Like, QXC was in a, a pretty decent spot before that just happened, but now he's just fallen so much further behind. It looks like he will get this third base though, so Bly, uh, you know, go for that hatchery, he's kind of biting him in the butt, but actually, it looks like he might try and defend it, as the Overseer is coming down with some Queens. Oh. But of course, two Banshees take on two Queens, especially if they have the assistance of a Widow Mine. Yeah, oh, oh, oh. Oh, wow, Unburrowed just in time. There's only one left, though, and, oh, there is the Overseer, but that is actually going to be okay, because he, you know, he pushes them away. You can morph in another Overseer and clean them up before the... It retargets. The Hellions just running around trying to find an extra base if there is one. Well, not unfortunately because it's only there. And the Spire is soon to complete that pop. Yeah, what's this oh, skill on the field? Like I mean, he doesn't even need many QX. He doesn't have a lot of Marines. He's invested so much in the Hellions. The Widowmines now three Banshees, even. Yeah, and some drones getting killed off here that. Queen's coming back to deal with this, but if they stay here too long, these mirrors will kill them, and yeah, they have no that'll cloak. be a very... Even if yeah. they did, the Overseer's there. And that will really hurt QXE then, because the, the, these are the only things he has to really do some damage, pretty much. He does have the two Hellions, but oh, transfusing the Queen's insult to injury. And 72 supply. But amazingly enough, QXE is at he has tied the work account. Uh, that's actually quite impressive. He is, of course, got his own third command center, which he is soon to take, and he has to, you know, add in turrets. He's got to spend a bit of infrastructure. But uh, money now on infrastructure. Again, problematic with Bly constantly doing this. I don't know. Here come the mutilists into the main. The turret's not quite done yet, Huey. There are oh, several Marines. Uh, Stim. Stimming without a medevac. That's really painful. Yes. It does. Add up and QXE bringing his third back into his main. Um, I, I guess he realizes he's not going to have enough units to defend I, three bases. I kind of imagine Bly sitting at his computer right now with an evil laugh, just <laughs> yeah. like yeah. he knows how well off he is in this game. But all right, I'm looking at what QXE's got, and right now he's going to go for Bio, which isn't a bad choice. But the problem he's had, I feel, every game with his Bio is he hasn't had sufficient Widow Mines to go with it. Like, he's been pairing Widow Mines in small amounts and relying heavily on tanks, and that has not worked uh, and, uh, for a lot of the Terran players today. Not to say Q it won't work oh, for the QC, tanks. but... Oh, he nearly lost those tanks today. It does get made back, which is quite nice. It's just and... as bad as losing a tank at this point. Definitely. Especially now that he's just forced another double stim. 
and these units are hurt. And another medevac getting taken out. Ooh. Ooh, wow, <laughs> close stim time in there. Oh, and there's somebody serving to get onto the tanks to splash damage, dealing some splash there um, to his own units. And oh my god, there's no turrets here, there's no marines, there's four marines coming up. Uh, SCVs are forced to fight here, and this command center is already hurt, so he has to be careful um, that he doesn't get sniped. Another, jeez, another medevac getting sniped again. Alright, so what's his production? Let's have a look. He's got, he's got one star fort, one factory, and five racks. So his, his production's okay. Why? Full space is complete. His income is actually not that far ahead of his opponent. And Yo, I, I kind of feel a lot of what QAC is doing. I think this is a lot of his emotions taking over him. Because, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of little things that could be going differently. But, like, look at this. Meatless now getting to the main once again. And uh -huh. there's just so many of them that QAC can't actually defend this with turrets. It, yeah, it's pretty much time to snowball. I think, you know, it, it, like, after the last game, you can't, you can't really be surprised if he is tilted quite badly. Because that is, you know, that's, that's like icing on the cake, isn't it? Oh, the no. The natural again. Being no ransacked. Turrets. He's completely supply blocked right now. <laughs> a it's single turret doing what it can, but it just can't do enough. QC force just... just go offensive, but look at the Banley's crashing in. This is pretty much the end of his life. It, I mean, this is he can't. He's got no yeah. answer for these mutalisks. He has no answer for the units that he's attacking into, and the units back at home. How depressing! Congratulations. You know what, though, he can't be depressed. He just walked away with two hundred bucks for losing. Yeah. Like, you, you know, it's one of those things he... Yeah, yeah. Any loss is a, a defeat, unfortunately. So, yeah, QXC does get 4 0 there. That was actually... I got to admit, I didn't expect a 4 0. Like, maybe... It's like, I would have said 100% uh, QXC would have been capable of taking a game off Bly. I think... I don't know. Like I said, maybe it's just your know, Bly's matchup is superior. KOXE pretty much rage quits our battle net as well.